We're making this video to answer a commonly asked question that we get on a daily basis from people. What it is, the question is, how do I find top dead center on my small snowmobile engine? The Skidoo engine, the Polaris engine, and the Arctic Cat engine. You'll notice that all three of these engines have the valve covers off and the rocker arms exposed. You'll see also that the rocker arms are for the overhead valve heads. Each one of these engines will, we will find top dead center the same way. I'm going to use the Polaris engine just for better visuals. Let me set these engines to the side and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, now we have our Polaris engine in front of us and I'm going to show you how to go about finding top dead center. You'll have your valve cover on, which we've already removed. We'll go ahead and pull the spark plug wire off and we'll remove the spark plug. Now we've loosened the spark plug ahead of time just for the make the video a little quicker. You're going to notice we have two rocker arms. One of them is our intake, the other is our exhaust. The way we can tell which rocker arm is our intake rocker arm is it is the rocker arm that is closest to the carburetor. It's that way on all three engines. You'll take a half inch wrench and hook it to the bolt on your clutch. All three engines again will be done the same way. You want to rotate the engine in the direction of rotation. That's the direction the clutch turns when the sled is moving forward. Well, watch this rocker arm carefully because it is our intake rocker arm. You'll continue to roll your crankshaft over with your wrench on the clutch. Roll it over. And sometimes you'll have to go several revolutions. Now you're going to start to see the intake rocker arm open the valve. Keep rotating it in the direction of rotation. Now you're going to see the rocker arm start to close the valve. When the rocker arm starts to close the valve, get yourself a normal screwdriver, can be a Phillips or a flat blade, carefully stick it in the spark plug hole. Now you only go in a couple inches and hold it to the top. Continue to turn your crankshaft to direction rotation. Now you're going to start to see my screwdriver move. My screwdriver will go down and it will go up. Now it's doing this because I'm rocking the piston backwards and forwards past top dead center. When you get the screwdriver so it stops moving, you've just found top dead center. You'll notice that both rocker arms are loose. You'll be able to slide your feeder gauge under and adjust the valves properly. This is the proper way to find top dead center. Now the one thing I might add is that the Skidoo engine and the Articat engine both are a little bit at an angle and it will be harder to get the valve cover off. The Polaris, the valve cover comes off relatively easy and can be done in the sled. I hope this video helped you. Thank you.